The term survival of the fittest was invented by Herbert Spencer, a British philosopher, and is a widely accepted concept in evolutionary theory. While it can be interpreted differently by different people, its primary meaning is that individuals who are fit and strong have a higher likelihood of survival. It also includes the idea that as species change over time, those that are less adapted become extinct. Evolutionary biologists have extensively studied and analyzed this concept through mathematical models and computer simulations. Biologists consider the increase in the fitness of a population as a fundamental principle of evolution. However, the term fitness can be misunderstood due to its multiple definitions in the English language. It is crucial to recognize that the survival of a species depends on its adaptability to the environment rather than the fitness of individual members. If a species fails to adapt to changing environments, it can lead to their extinction, as has occurred with many species before us. Nevertheless, the main focus of Spencer and Darwin Darwin's argument was the impact of this concept on species throughout the Earth's history. In modern terms, we will explore the meaning of survival of the fittest and provide the best evidence to support this evolutionary process. George Williams explains that natural selection accurately reflects the concept, as it is not simply about survival of the fittest, but rather the survival of suitably adapted individuals. Darwin's theory of natural selection. The origin of species by Darwin is a significant scientific literature piece that introduces the theory of natural selection and the principle of survival of the fittest. This theory meets the standards of a scientific study because it asks a question that can be tested and it suggests a way to answer that question through experimentation or observation. Darwin's primary question was, why is there such a rich diversity of organisms on Earth? Through his extensive exploration on the HMS Beagle, which was a ship, he arrived at the explanation of survival of the fittest. The abundance of diverse organisms on our planet is a clear fact with approximately 4,000 mammal species and an unknown but presumed millions of insect species. The constant discovery of new species, particularly insects, further supplements this count. Darwin explains that in nature, there's a constant struggle for survival because organisms often have more babies than can survive. Let's take insects as an example. Imagine starting with 100 insects. If each insect has two babies, then next year there would be 200 insects, the next year 400, and so on. After just five years, there would be so many insects that the original 100 would seem insignificant. So insects have to compete to avoid being part of the group that dies due to not having enough resources like food. The ones that are better at having babies that survive show they're stronger and pass on their traits to their offspring. This keeps the cycle of competition going. Darwin famously said that it's like the whole world is an arena where everyone is fighting to survive. His theory of natural selection helps us understand how different life forms have evolved to adapt to these challenges. The role of adaptation in survival. The role of adaptation in survival has a significant impact on a species' success. Scientists often test how well a species adapts to environmental changes to understand this relationship better. One interesting example involves beetles living at different altitudes. It has been observed that higher altitude beetles have more crystalline protein, which helps them use oxygen efficiently in low oxygen environments. To explore this further, researchers transplanted high altitude beetles to a lowland environment and compared their reproductive success to that of lowland beetles. Surprisingly, the transplanted beetles had a lower reproductive success rate, suggesting poor adaptation to the new environment. While this study provides evidence that these factors are related, it would be necessary to show a genetic basis for the protein levels to fully support the idea. Despite its limitations, this experiment sheds light on the intricate relationship between genetic adaptation, survival, and reproductive success. Understanding the correlation between genetic factors, phenotype changes, which are changes in appearance, and a species response to environmental changes is a crucial part of evolutionary theory. Researchers aiming to manipulate genetic adaptations and observe their impact on a species' success over multiple generations face ethical and practical barriers, especially when studying humans. However, simpler species with shorter generation times can provide valuable insights. Arctic foxes, for instance, adapt their fur color to blend with their snowy environment. Environment. This change in phenotype gives them an advantage in predation and mating, leading to the selection of genes responsible for white fur. If the change in fur color was due to a random mutation and did not improve survival and reproduction rates, the mutation would not be naturally selected. However, if white fur outperformed darker fur in terms of camouflage, 
natural selection would favor the white fur gene, leading to decreased genetic diversity in the Arctic fox population. Although advantageous in a snowy environment, this adaptation could be negative if the environment had less snow cover. This example illustrates genetic drift, where a random allele, expression of a gene, is selected based on its frequency in response to environmental changes. It highlights the intricate relationship between genetic change, adaptation, and survival in species. Competition and the struggle for existence. Competition is not only limited to the fight for resources, it also extends to the quest for a suitable mate. Parental investment, as defined by Trivers, refers to the effort and resources that a parent contributes to their offspring's upbringing and future reproductive success. This investment varies between males and females and is influenced by biological factors. In modern society, parental investment is significantly determined by the sex of the parent. Regardless of evolutionary changes, certain expectations remain consistent. For example, the amount of care given to a baby before it's born should be equal to or even more than the care given after it's born. These expectations play a vital role in the process of evolution and serve as a significant source of competition between the sexes. In the struggle for survival, competition arises due to limited resources relative to the population's demands. This competition can occur within the same species or between different species. Individuals with characteristics best suited to obtain resources have higher fitness and are more likely to survive and reproduce. Consequently, individuals with lower fitness may have fewer offspring, while those with higher fitness have more, leading to evolutionary changes in the population. This process is known as natural selection, in which heritable traits that contribute to the survival and reproductive success of organisms become more common in a population. Conclusion in conclusion, the concept of survival of the fittest, coined by Herbert Spencer and further worked out by Charles Darwin in his theory of natural selection, remains a fundamental aspect of evolutionary biology. While the term may bring images of individual strength and dominance to mind, its essence lies in the adaptability and fitness of species within changing environments, as evidenced by the intricate interplay of genetic adaptation, competition, and the struggle for existence, it is clear that the survival of a species depends not only on the prowess of its individuals, but also on its ability to adapt and evolve over time. Through thorough scientific research and real-world evidence, we continue to unravel the complexities of evolution, shedding light on the mechanisms that drive the diversity of life on Earth. As we navigate the modern landscape of biological research, it is essential to pay attention to George Williams' statement that natural selection more accurately captures the essence of this evolutionary process, emphasizing the importance of suitable adapted individuals rather than purely physical prowess. In essence, the inheritance of Darwin's theory endures as a testament to the ongoing dialogue between organisms and their environments, shaping the ever-changing tapestry of life. If you enjoyed this overview of the evolutionary theory and want to keep learning, then don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more amazing content, and as always, stay curious.